Welcome to Great Ingredients. Today we are going to be extracting, hopefully, honey from our own hive here in our backyard. Some of the best ingredients are ingredients that, that we make ourselves, that we grow in our gardens. Even a cake that somebody makes is always preferable to, to something that you could go, go buy. And, uh, and our bees have uh, hopefully made us some honey. And uh, we're going to go check that out. I trust cows more than I trust chemists. Know your farmer, know your food. I really hope that we can arouse some curiosity in people. The very simplest of great ingredients can really make the difference in your life. Great ingredients make great food. All right, so here we go. Getting suited up. The bees at this time of year, especially, uh, they know what we're they know what we're coming for, and they're none too happy about it. So we're going to do a little tending to the bees. All right. All right. Let me throw on my gloves. Where do you want me? My very beautiful assistant. May I? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Pete, Pete always right. likes to double up on the smoke. Pete is a smoker. I am a smoke aficionado for sure. So, yeah, we're going to get these girls figuring. I hope we have some honey in here. Oh, me too. Oh, I see some wax in there. I hope there's honey in it. Wow. Sure enough. A beautiful frame, beautiful. a beautiful capped honey. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. That's I think we've got a full super of honey here, sweetie. Nice. Yeah. So I'm going to pop the super off. <coughs> that weighs probably, I bet that's 60 pounds. Well, looks like they have quite a bit of honey inside, too. Wow. They're beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> Pretty cool. So we're just, we're just loosening these frames out. They've, they've got the frames all glued together with wax and propolis. This stuff is called propolis here. It's a... Um, it's an interesting substance. Well, I know what we're going to be giving away as Christmas presents this year. Exactly. Oh, so beautiful, isn't it? Grocer's not known to be the smartest lot anywhere. We're here we're going to load my uh, car up full of uh, bees and honey and we're going to drive it across town to extract it. What could go wrong? Here we are at Denver Urban Homesteading with James Bertini. He's the founder and um, he's a, uh, a, a, a renaissance man of, of great proportion as I'm learning. And we are going to extract the honey from, uh, from our backyard hive here uh, at his lovely, very cool facility. And uh, so James, we're just gonna get after this. And, 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 the, and just to be clear, these are, these are frames of, of honey from your backyard. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. So uh, yeah, what could be better than that? Home, truly homemade food. It looks exciting. It, yeah, they're neat. So we, we weighed one actually, and it was uh, about five pounds. Let's weigh one again. That's a full frame of honey. Full frame of honey. Both sides. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we talk about. That's how we do it over at the Marzak House. Good. Good. Get her done. Very good. It's weighing in uh, right about five pounds. Right, about right on the right on the nugget, huh? Very consistent. Really beautiful. Uh, beautiful structure. We have to 
free the honey from each cell. It's very smooth. It's, uh, it's capped comb. And we're going to try two different methods. We've got the, um, got the comb. I guess that's a comb scraper. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll try a knife also. But uh, you have to expose all the caps. You have to allow the honey to flow out for it to flow out. So we just sort of scrape the cappings off. See that? Yeah, you're getting all the wax from the uh, outside of the, of the cells of honey that would keep the honey from flowing while it's in the hive. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep, this is beautiful. Look at that. All right, I think that one's ready for the extract the mundo. Um, should we carry it over in this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we've taken all that wax off that capped comb, and this is going to want to flow out of here. Mm -hmm. Just slide right there. Yeah. All Look right. At that. Cool. Fits in there very nicely. It sure does. That's perfect. It's dripping with honey. This is about to become a great ingredient, I'll tell you that much. Now, you say this is gonna take about 20 minutes? Yes. Precisely the amount of time to uh, have a beer, I would say. I would say so. Excellent. There you go. Just placed in here. Hmm. Uh, it operates like a washing machine. Uh, when we turn it on, it spins, and uh, the centrifugal force will, will uh, cause the honey to uh, spin out. This is so 110% all pro, I can't even believe it. My wife is going to laugh at me when she sees this. I did this by hand last year. Yeah. Stayed up till about 2 a.m. Oh my god. Oh yeah, up, oh, starting to spin out. See that? Oh, this is so good. All right, the moment of truth is upon us, James. Let's see <coughs> how we did. What do we call this, the honey gate? That's the honey gate. The honey gate. Here we go. Sounds like a political scandal. Honey gate. Look at that. Who wants to taste it? James? Okay. Yeah, Get sure. Get in there. Well, uh, it's your honey. If it was get somebody your, else's, I wouldn't stick my finger in get there. Get your, yeah, right in. Yeah, absolutely. So if you get a jar of honey from me this year, you'll know that James's finger has been all over it. So is mine. Good? <clears throat> you know, this tastes like a certain neighborhood, maybe off 6th Avenue. Catalpa. <laughs> it's Catalpa. Wow, that's awesome. That's great. What a great ingredient. What a great ingredient! <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Good thing I brought my guns. We sort of wing it. Bee humor, winging it. How very well behaved bees. We have excellent behavior on our bees. None have been in juvie, nothing. I dubbed the honey hammer. It's honey. This is freaking more honey than you can eat. You can't eat this much honey. If you can eat this much honey, I will give you $5.